Hey everyone, Captain John here. I wasn't planning to do a video, but I couldn't resist because I'm sitting here at the Hilton in Santa Cruz, and I just thought it was going to be another basic Hilton. And maybe it is, I don't know. But from the outside, it looks pretty dang cool. It almost looks like a castle. It's hard to tell in the dark, but it's all brickwork and it looks pretty cool. So I can't wait to show or see what's inside and show you guys. It says you still saw by the minibus. I am doing a bus test express site. And uh, yeah, just uh, a one day thing too. It's not even really long, so just a quick one. Oh, it looks pretty cool on the inside. Oh, mask required. Let's get our mask on. All right, she says she put me on the, floor, uh, the top floor, but I'm going to the third floor, so I think the fourth is a uh, fitness center. It's not an actual room floor. Right, we got some guest laundry also. Let's see how much is it? Dollar seventy-five to wash and dry. Dollar seventy-five. Still cheaper than most truck stops. Here we are. All right, so not much to this video today, guys. Mostly just the viewing of my room. And as a tradition, I always show my room. So here we are. This is the Hilton in Santa Cruz. It's actually uh, Scotts Valley. So our view of the window is actually open when I got up here. See out there. So as you can see, there's a parking lot. Close this window. Can it close? What the heck? This is not clear. There we go. So that's uh, the parking lot, but we're actually on the third floor. So that's an act actually a raised parking structure. Or we're on a hill. It's hard to tell because it's really dark here right now. And it is a, a mountainous area. So it's possible that that could just be an elevated on the hill, not an actual parking garage like rooftop. Uh, but we are on the third floor. So it's kind of weird. Uh, anyways, a uh, single bed, got a uh, couch with an ottoman, they said that we have a fridge, I'm guessing we do have the microwave, so I'm guessing that the fridge is here, there it is, got a light in here, there we go, now we can see, there are, it's just like a basic fridge, tiny fridge, some storage, got some coffee maker going on for tomorrow morning. I'm guessing a closet. Yeah, closet. And our restroom. I really like these mirrors, how the light goes around the mirror. I think that's pretty cool. So anyways, that's it guys. I just, like I said, real quick video. I uh, wanted to show the room real quick. Uh, just showing the different amenities that we always get to experience here while we are over the road, good and bad, including hair on the bed. Obviously not mine. Gross. Let's see how the rest of the bed looks. It looks clean. Didn't bring my black light. But anyways, uh, like I said, this is going to be a really quick, uh, oh, feels so good to relax. So it's been a long day. Started off in Modesto this morning, uh, and then they were like really short-handed with this site out here on Santa Cruz. So uh, it's kind of like a last minute emergency thing. They really needed me out here quick. So I grabbed one of the mini buses that set up for COVID uh, testing and just drove out here. It's a little over two hours to get out here. Uh, in the bus anyway. Uh, set up real quick. It's a really short site. It's only an eight hour site, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that's kind of nice. Usually I'm used to the 12 hours, seven to seven, which really drags. Uh, but anyways, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go back to this site and set up. And then the person that's gonna be normally doing this site, I believe, is gonna come out to meet with me, probably do some training with them. I'm not sure. We're gonna do something tomorrow. He's bringing a rental car. Uh, so once we get him squared away on the site, he or she, uh, we will 
get back in the rental car and go back to Modesto or go home with the rental car until I work the following morning. We'll see. We'll play by ear, see what happens. Um, so the lady was also telling me uh, when I was checking in, um, even though my company buys the hotel rooms for us, we get the Hilton Honors points. So we get all the perks uh, for the points, and like free rooms uh, after you get so many points, things like that, free merchandise. Oh, speaking of that. Uh, but she said if there, uh, there's an app where they have this new thing where um, if you have the Hilton Honors app, you don't need a room key. Uh, you just go onto your app, you come up to your door and say, I'm here, and the door will unlock for you. No more need for a room key. So I'm actually kind of uh, eager to try that out. It sounds really interesting. Uh, I wonder if all Hilton properties do that or if that's something that's new and only certain of them, certain ones have it. But I wanted to show this real quick. I came in to check in at the lobby and she said, she said, well, we have a gift for you. It's a sealed envelope. It's got my name on it. So let's see what's inside. See there, it's uh, Hilton, Santa Cruz, Scotts Valley. So here, all right, so just for you, compliments of the Hilton Santa Cruz sales team. Let's see here. Hello, John. Thank you for joining us at the Hilton Santa Cruz. We appreciate your support in such difficult times. If there's anything we can do to improve your stay, please do not hesitate to reach out. Safe travels. Um, I think that says James. That's very nice of them. Thank you so much. Um, oh, okay, there's something, something else in there. Hold on. There's an actual little goodie. It says, thank you from the Hilton team. Guest named John. Choose one house wine or beer at the bar or pick two treats from the corner pantry on us. Wow, check that out. Thanks, guys. Uh, there's no expiration date on that, so I may hold on to this because uh, I'm not going to drink tonight and I don't need any snacks. But check that out. That's freaking awesome. Thanks, Hilton, uh, Santa Cruz. Uh, that was really a nice touch. I've never had a hotel give me a card, and it's a handwritten card that's not some you know stock thing they actually took their time to do this for me that's actually pretty cool um so kudos to them for that plus it's a nice property um couldn't really see it at night uh, but i did take a picture of one of their pictures they have hanging on the wall of the property that was actually going to be the thumbnail for this video uh, so that's kind of what it looked like on the outside um so yeah very cool anyways guys uh thanks for being here appreciate it and we'll see you down the road